Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPad. In this video, I'll be talking about Bitbucket. Now, what is Bitbucket? Bitbucket is our Git repository management solution designed for professional teams. It gives you a central place to manage Git repositories, collaborate on your source code, and guide you through the deployment flow. Bitbucket provides a lot of features that include the deployment of Bitbucket. It has three different deployment options, Bitbucket Cloud, Bitbucket Data Center, and Bitbucket Server. It is used in access control, pull requests, workflow control, integration of Jira, and full REST API. Let us know more about what Bitbucket can do in this video. But before that, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Hello everyone and welcome to IntelliPad. In this video, I'll be talking about Bitbucket. So it is a cloud-based service uh, which allows you or a team in particular to store their source code and manage it. Now, as you guys have already heard about the discussion that uh, GitHub or Bitbucket. So which is better, right? So this is the raging discussion right now, but we cannot compare them directly. They, it's like comparing apples to oranges. Instead of that, we can say Bitbucket is used for a particular reason and GitHub is used for another reason. So I will be talking about uh, Bitbucket in this video uh, briefly and uh, by the end of the video you will be able to decide by yourself that why Bitbucket is used instead of GitHub and uh, why Bitbucket was created. Now let us know the agenda for this video. Firstly, I'll be introducing the concept of Bitbucket. I'll be introducing what Bitbucket is, who created it and what it is mainly used for its use cases all these things i'll be doing that in the introduction part later i will move on to some of the features and applications of bitbucket in the current industry and finally i'll be talking about the advantages that you get using bitbucket instead of other source code repositories like github and GitLabs, etc now that we know what we have in our agenda for this video, let us move on with the first topic, introduction to Bitbucket. So now what exactly is Bitbucket? Uh, when you boil it down to the very uh, basics, uh, it is a source code repository hosting service. So what do you mean by a source code repository hosting service? Source code repository means that it is a storage place where you can store your code. It can be in one's own computer and this is called as a local repository or it can also be stored in a server which is called a remote repository. And this uh, tool or this service Bitbucket is owned by Atlassian. So it is one of Atlassian's product out of the many products that they have in the IT industry. The next point here is that it makes use of Git version control system and it has developed features like UI servers and integrations around the Git system. Now, as we all know that Git is the most popular open source version control system right now. Every developer will know what Git is at this point. Version control here means that uh, it can track changes to your files. Or let it be whatever files it is like if you are uh, maintaining a project it will have a number of files inside the project so and if the number of files becomes high it will be harder for you to manage your project and this is where the virtual control comes in it basically tracks changes to your files in a project bitbucket has taken advantage of this open source nature of git and has extended its functionality to provide users with a better experience with their project management. Bitbucket was created by Jesper Noer in 2008 and two years later, that is in 2010, Bitbucket was acquired by Atlassian. It is the native Git tool in Atlassian's Open DevOps. Now, what is Open DevOps? So Atlassian has come up with this uh, tool or a service called as Open DevOps and it is used for project management. It is used by many software development teams all around the world 
and Bitbucket is the native tool used in this environment. It has a built-in CI-CD solution. Now, what is CI-CD? CI-CD stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment. The CI-CD process is used to automate the building, testing and finally deployment of applications on the cloud or wherever you want to deploy it. Whether it be on the cloud or uh, let it be in on-premises server, uh, if you want to deploy any applications, you will have to have a CI-CD pipeline in your team so that it, the development process is not delayed. And then it uh, bridges the gap between development and operations. So a CI-CD basically bridges the gap between the development team in an organization and the operations team in, in that organization. Many teams go for third-party tools like Jenkins, Ansible, etc. and all the other DevOps tools. But if you use Bitbucket, you are provided with a built-in CI-CD solution that you can use. It has the best built-in Jira and Trello integration. Now, what is Jira and Trello, you might ask? So, Jira is a proprietary issue tracking product developed by Atlassian. Now, issue uh, here means that uh, let's say you have a project up and running on the cloud and uh, you have a user base. So, let's say 1000 users are using your application and a few of them after using your application might come up with some problems. That is, they might encounter a, a bug or an error in your application and they will report that in Jira. That is called an issue. So, reporting a bug is called an issue. And the platform to do so is called as Jira. And then Trello is a web-based Kanban style list making application and is developed by Trello Enterprise, which is also a subsidiary of Atlassian. So Atlassian basically owns these two products. That is Atlassian owns Jira as well as Trello. And that is why it has the best built-in Jira and Trello integration. So if you ever, that is if your team ever decides to use Bitbucket, it will be provided with Jira and Trello integrations. Next, the selling point of Bitbucket was unlimited private repositories that you could host on the cloud as opposed to the open source theme of GitHub, which promoted public repositories. That is, uh, as you guys have already used GitHub and it is the home for many open source projects. And this was the theme of GitHub. Uh, but Bitbucket targeted audience which wanted private repositories. That is, they did not want their uh, source code to be out there in the public. They wanted their uh, code within their team. So they, uh, whatever team was developing that project uh, wanted it to be private, they wanted it to be proprietary. So uh, Bitbucket offered them the solution. But now uh, recently GitHub has an option for private repositories as well. Considering all the factors, Bitbucket is 10 times cheaper than GitHub while offering the same functionality if you plan on using the paid versions of both the softwares. That is if you go for the paid version of Bitbucket and if you use the paid version of GitHub, uh, the paid version of Bitbucket will cost you 10 times cheaper than the paid version of GitHub. Alright, now that we know about the brief introduction to Bitbucket, now let us move on to the features and applications of Bitbucket. The first feature is that it has a code review system. Bitbucket has a super fast code review system that helps the developers and the reviewers to review the pull request in very less time. It has a unique commit level review system and makes it easy for the users to check the updated code easily. Also, multiple reviewers can be added to make contributions. Next, it has powerful Jira integration. Jira is one of the best tools to track bugs within the code. This tool can easily integrate Bitbucket and Jira thus enabling a user to freely track the issue status or the bug report without leaving the current tool. Inline discussion. So inline discussion can be used to add inline comments and threaded conversations within the code snippet. 
thus making the reviewers and developers interactions better for example if a reviewer has suggested a change in the font styles it will be visible near the code segment next we have bitbucket cloud and server bitbucket provides two different services as per the need of the users if your team size is small let's say 1 to 5 then you can opt for bitbucket cloud or you can opt for bitbucket server for bigger teams that is more than 5 Built-in issue tracker. Issues can be easily tracked in Bitbucket with its built-in system. This tracker is flexible, easy to use, and has a number of configurable fields like version, milestone, etc. The built-in issue tracker can also help us to track the status of the bugs, new feature requests from the client or developer, and the tasks assigned so all these things you can do in the built in issue tracker the final feature or application of bitbucket is the bitbucket interface bitbucket interface is quite simple to use and one can easily search for repositories pull requests branches usernames and other features of the tools now let us move on to the advantages of bitbucket the first advantage is that it has a query management system The query management system provided in Bitbucket makes the works easy by providing an integrated system. Next, it has an authentication via GitHub. So let's say you are a user of GitHub and you want to log in to Bitbucket using your GitHub account, you can do that as well. Coming to the next point, we have the integrated Jira tool as we have already discussed in the previous slides. Bitbucket also supports bug tracking tool called Jira. It automatically detects bug in the code and updates the information when a new commit is performed. You can import repositories. This is the most basic feature that must be added in any version control system. But Bitbucket allows you to import old repositories from third-party services. So this is one advantage of Bitbucket. Coming to the last advantage that is pricing. So Bitbucket is free for small teams consisting of uh, one to five members. You can use an unlimited number of free private repositories. Students and teachers can also get the free benefits of Bitbucket. That's it from my side, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in cloud computing, then Intellipad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.